There is many ways, especially in baking, that you have to know how to cut paper in one way or the other to fit your mold. And I'm going to show you a few, like starting with a cookie sheet like that. So when I have to do this, I butter usually half of the paper. Use your hand, it's, it's the best way. Half of the paper. What you do after, you fold the other half. It's buttered on each side. If you want to do a cookie sheet like that, what you do in addition, you fold it in four. And from that part here, which has no opening, you make an incision here. You know, like this. You cut that here. Now what I do, you open it. I will put it butter side down first just to butter the bottom, then lift it up and put it back on the other side. Now it will glue to both sides. Look at what I did on the side here. I will have those two things which are going to cross over to fit in the corner. So this is totally molding when you do a roulade or something like this and you want it to be totally... That's how you do it. Now, when you do something wrong like that, this is a flan ring with removable button. You have to have a piece of paper which is at least as large as this. Again, it can be buttered or not, depending what you do. But you fold it in half, in quarter. And after, from that part where you have no opening here, you grab it and you do a triangle, another triangle here, smaller and smaller, and another triangle here. Now I will measure this from the center here to here. I'll probably cut it here because I need a little bit of the edge. So I will cut it right around here to make sure that this will fit good on the side I will fringe the side a little bit with, with the, the scissor. Now I can open it. And it's going to fit here in the corner. When you have to put rice or beans in it sometime, you cook something this way. Now if you do something like this, like a a kugloff or another cake with the thing in the center. You do the same thing, again, folding it in smaller and smaller triangle. Now I measure this from the center here to here, which is this, and remeasure it again so that from here on the center. And then if I have something to cool off, this will fit exactly into my mold here. To the idea. Maybe the one which is used the most is the corner, the corner copy. And what you have to do is to cut a triangle like this, a right hand triangle. If you remember a little bit your geometry, you have to fold it in the center of the hypotenuse bring the other side back on. And now with my thumb, I go down and with my finger up, I'm pulling it up to make it until I have a real point here. And then I fold that inside. You have to fold this carefully so that it doesn't undo. We use hundreds of different ways of using that in pastry. One way, often you put it in a glass, it's easier to do the use of chocolate, a little bit of melted chocolate in there. When you take it like this, where you have the fold, you want to you want to fold it on top of the seam here on one side, the other side, and back inside until it came to a very fine point here. And then, of course, you use that to write "Happy Birthday" or. I mean, different type of decoration that you do, of course, with chocolate. See the way you cut the paper. <laughs>